Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Top 10 Stranger Things Found in the Middle of Nowhere So you thought the internet made the entire world an accessible hub, huh? You thought you could go anywhere in the world and nothing would surprise you? Well, I'm about to end your whole career. You see, with all the world's information at the palm of your hands, it's easy to get cocky and sometimes forget that the Earth is 196 million square miles of freaking land and water. Boy, that's a whole lot of real estate, which means that there are some places where very few people have visited. And once you get to these strange places, you'll find some of the weirdest creatures and phenomena existing. You thought Alien was spooky? Some of these places will give Ridley Scott a run for his money. By the time you get there, you'll be like, what the heck am I looking at? So enough said, let me blow your mind away with 10 strangest things found in the middle of nowhere. Number 10, the Blue Angel Sea Slug of South Africa. You've seen creepy crawlers, you've seen itsy bitsy spiders, but we bet you're sweet behind that you've never seen the Blue Angel Sea Slug. Indigenous to the coasts of South Africa and Australia, this mythical-like sea creature is scientifically known as Glaucus atlanticus. It is a rare species of sea slug that looks like it was pulled from another universe and accidentally brought into ours. Aw, do you miss home, little fella? Having a long and hard look at it, you can't help but admire its timeless beauty. But don't be fooled by the slug's gorgeous looks. It can be as deadly as it is mesmerizing. You see, the blue angel is carnivorous by nature, and it feeds on other venomous creatures of the deep like the Portuguese man-o-war. How does it do this exactly? Well, by collecting the venom from the bodies of its previous victims, storing it in specialized sacks, and then injecting other poisonous creatures before devouring them. And the cycle continues. Yikes. Talk about taking survival of the fittest to a whole other level. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, Underground Cathedral in Colombia. Now, we're not gonna get into some religious rhetoric or anything, but boy, are there some zealous believers out there. You want to know just how awe-inspiring their faith is? Well, strong enough for a group of people to work tirelessly in building an underground church. The Salt Cathedral of Zipaquira is an underground Roman Catholic church that was first excavated from a salt mine in 1954. The church, which is located in Condina Marca, Colombia, is completely constructed out of salt and situated 590 feet below the small town of Zipaquira. What's even creepier is that the cathedral holds a giant salt cross and has a capacity big enough to hold 10,000 people in a single service. Strangely enough, locals claim that the church has never been filled to the brim. Number 8. Goblin Sharks of Japan if nature had ugly in its dictionary, then the Goblin Shark of Japan would probably be the reference picture. If Stephen King and Edgar Allan Poe's horror imaginations had a baby, then this rare species of deep sea shark would probably be the result. Okay, we're done with comparisons. Mind you, they are actually nicknamed living fossils because they are the only known species of an ancient family of sharks called Mitzgerinidae. So, what makes goblin sharks have a face only a mother could love? Well, they have noticeably long jaws filled with massive nail-like teeth. Oh, and let's not forget that their large, spooky eyes don't make it any easier for them. Luckily, they live in the deeper sections of the sea where hardly any light penetrates. So, blind dates are actually a thing for them. When it comes to hunting, goblin sharks are able to detect electrical currents emitted by other animals and rapidly extend their jaws to catch their prey. Plus, here's a little trivia for you. Did you know that the goblin shark was actually the inspiration behind the dreaded neomorph in Alien Covenant? Number 7. Bright Blue Lava Volcano in Indonesia if someone asked you, what's the most beautiful place you've ever been to, most of us would probably say Hawaii, Paris, or maybe a safari in South Africa. 
But did you know that there are other places on this planet that look like actual paradise? While you may not have heard of it, the Kawa Aijin volcano in Indonesia is truly remarkable thanks to one little secret. Its volcano emits oozing waves of purple and blue lava. Yeah, you heard right. Actually, the lava isn't blue. However, the amazing coloration of the lava actually originates from the high quantities of sulfuric gas that are emitted together with the lava. So back to Chemistry 101, when sulfuric gas ignites, it burns with a bright bluish or purplish hue, which makes it appear electric blue. Number 6. The Voynich Manuscript – Origin Unknown As we mentioned earlier, the world is such a mysterious place, and you'd be surprised that there are a lot of things that scientists don't actually have a clue about. One of these unsolved mysteries is the Voynich Manuscript. This is a 240-page medieval tome that was written in an incomprehensible language, and it's been baffling historians ever since it was discovered. The manuscript is believed to have been written somewhere between 1404 and 1438. Within the manuscript are spooky diagrams and illustrations that depict everything from mysterious plants and animals to pregnant women bathing their pregnant bellies in green pools. What's even stranger is that to this date, historians and linguists are unable to decipher the text and illustrations of the book. Number 5. Point Nemo in Antarctica if you're the type of person that's fascinated by weird facts, then our next place will definitely catch your attention. Did you know that Point Nemo is actually the furthest point from land on Earth? It is officially referred to as the Oceanic Point of Inaccessibility. The place is actually surrounded in a triangle of three islands, Mar Island, Motunui, and Dushi Island. In fact, it is so far from the closest land inhabited by humans that astronauts in the International Space Station are actually closer to it. Yes, that's right. The International Space Station orbits the Earth from a distance of about 258 miles, while the closest land spot inhabited by people on Earth is more than 1,670 miles away from Point Nemo. Number 4. The Donakil Depression in Ethiopia just when you thought the world couldn't get any weirder, Mother Nature shows you one of the most bizarre-looking landscapes on the planet. It's called the Danakil Depression of Ethiopia. What makes this depression located in the Afar Triangle so surreal is that it is dotted with crackling lava pools that contain neon-colored hot springs. If that's not enough, there are sparkling salt flats all over the place. Not to mention, the depression is filled with poisonous gases hovering above hydrothermal fields. So sorry folks, you can't drink any of the water in these pools as most of them are filled with dangerous, toxic acid. Number 3. Underwater Lakes and Rivers in the Ocean So you only see lakes and rivers existing on land, right? And if you thought that they were the only estuaries that run freely on this planet, then you are gravely mistaken. There's a whole other aquatic world deep below us, and it is so massive that there are actually rivers and lakes bigger than the ones we see around. These unique bodies of water are actually known as brine pools, and they are twice as salty than the surrounding oceans. Because brine water is much denser than seawater, these lakes settle at the bottom of the sea and form a unique sea body from the one above. Pretty neat, right? They also push distinct waves of their own that lap against the shorelines. But the coolest thing about these brine pools is that they are so dense that submarines can still float on them as they dip lower towards the ocean floor. Sadly, you won't be able to enjoy wading around in them anytime soon. They contain high amounts of hydrogen sulfide and toxic methane, making them extremely toxic and dangerous for humans. And now we've come to the best pick of the day. We've all been fascinated with finding the lost world of Atlantis. For decades, stories have been told of this fascinating civilization that was consumed by raging waters and lost to the sea. Shall we ever find evidence of this aquatic city? Only time will tell. Number 2. The biggest living thing on Earth lives in Oregon. There's been a lot of big bad boys on this planet. 
From dinosaurs the size of skyscrapers to the gigantic blue whale of the ocean to the mighty elephant on land. Oh, and let's not forget redwood trees that are no doubt the king of the plants. But you'll be surprised to find that these are not the largest living organisms on Earth in terms of acreage. When looking at sheer size alone, that title goes to the mighty Pando Tree Colony, located at the Maller National Forest in Oregon. Nicknamed the Humongous Fungus, this colony of Armillariae ostoyae mushrooms was discovered in 2017. Scientists used DNA testing to affirm that all the different growing parts of the mushroom are, in fact, the same organism. What's even cooler is that this giant mushroom is believed to have been growing for more than 2,500 to up to 8,700 years, and its caps are quite the delicacy. Number 1. The Crystal Cave in Mexico Ah, uh, there would be nothing more enchanting as a first date than taking your partner to be to a cave filled with enchanting crystals. Sadly, some of us aren't that romantic, or we just don't live nearby the Cueva de los Cristales in Mexico. Sorry, babe. Well, this cave is known for its crisscrossing, illuminating crystals that are twice as large as the average man. The cave was discovered as recently as 2000 when miners decided to drain flooded water that was in a zinc mine in Chihuahua, Mexico. The sparkling structures are so pure that scientists are unable to date them using conventional techniques. But researchers have discovered what is believed to be a 50,000-year-old bacteria sample within one of the crystals. 50,000 years! I bet there were a couple of ancient humans who thought of taking their lovers down to these caves. Hey, someone had to get the tradition started, right? With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. Which of these strange things spooked you up a little and would you ever consider checking them out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want more videos that will probably still exist until the very end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.